Welcome back to Living in Wait. For our new feature, we're calling it Hawaii at Home. And we bring you home improvement, DIY projects, and so much more. That's right. Today we introduce you to a company with the perfect name. It's called A House is Built. The name of the business is A House is Built. The name of the owner is Leslie Bovaird, who joins us now in this edition of Hawaii at Home. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. Let's let all our viewers know a little bit about your business. Sure, sure. So we're about two and a half years young, and we provide partial and full home staging for properties that will go on the market for sale. And we work with realtors, real estate investors, and homeowners. But I also provide decorating and designing and styling services to help families and business owners create spaces that they love. You also, that's a lot, by the way, you also do a DIY. What inspired you to do do-it-yourself projects? Got all the sanding done. Looks pretty good. I absolutely do DIY. So I've always loved the look of custom designed furniture that would fit specific spaces and, and styles, especially with smaller homes like we have in Hawaii. But most things that are custom made or available in furniture stores locally is usually on the expensive side. So I've always tried to keep things within a budget by buying things that are secondhand and thrifted. Um, but as you might imagine, some of these thrifted items aren't in the best shape. So that prompted me to start learning how to refurbish furniture on my own. And it, you know, it helps to be able to learn some DIY stuff with as much as we've been at home in the last five, six months. Um, and I know that you've been working on some things. Can you show us some of the stuff that you've recently found and transformed? Sure. I found this really awesome vintage dining set um, with these chairs that automatically caught my eye because they look like um, bamboo, but they're made of solid wood. So I bought this dining set on Facebook Marketplace for $120. I didn't need the table, so I, I just gave that to a friend of mine who could use that. And then I was left with the six dining chairs, and I just had this vision that they would fit perfectly in my space. One thing that's been challenging is finding chairs that fit the style, fit the size, and fit our dining area perfectly. And so by refurbishing these, I thought, why not make it exactly all those things that I want it to be. And while, while a lot of us could probably do it at home and it might not look as good as what you've done what materials or tools uh, would our viewers need to be able to do something like this? So for something like this, it's really easy. I mean, you need some basic tools like a screwdriver and, and sandpaper. You'd also need paint, of course, and a paintbrush or a paint roller, scissors. Um, either you could use the existing cushion or buy a new cushion. I bought mine at Walmart for like five bucks. Material, I've, I've gotten material that's thrifted. For my chairs that I'm going to show, I actually use custom-made no-home material um, and then a staple gun. Okay, so uh, I have tons of tools. I'm not real good with them, uh, and I know that it probably sounds a little more difficult for some folks at home, but could you show our viewers, demonstrate how easy it could be if they wanted to do something themselves? Sure. So I started off with um, just basically sanding down the existing finish on the on the chairs, and that took a little bit of patience. It took some time, but it, I just imagined the end goal and, and knew that it would all be worth it. So once I got that all sanded down, um, I basically just put a coat of primer, put a coat of a couple of coats of paint on it. So the chair base was ready. And to do the cushion, that was the funnest part, I would say, because here's where the entire family could get involved. We literally got around the dining table with my kids one day, and we just, like, knocked it all out in one evening. So it really is simple. It just takes a little bit of time and patience. Okay, so the final product, what, where are you actually using the chairs that you've, that you've done up? Yeah, so these chairs I'm using around our dining table, there's six of them total, um, as shown here. And what's good about this whole process is that you can really use it for any chair that has a chair pad. So I like to have additional seating available if we have um, more guests over. So I actually have side chairs around uh, on e either side of our dining table. I've done the same process too and just beyond our dining space we have our kitchen and I've done the same thing to our counter stools as well. How, do, how does somebody get in touch with you guys uh, you know 
give me give me a website, a phone number, where to follow, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, um, all of that is accessible. So I, you can call me on at eight zero eight three five eight eight three five five. You can find me on on my website at www.ahouseisbuilt.com. Email me ahouseisbuilt at g- gmail.com. But where you can see the most action going on is on my Instagram account. Um, I'm posting stories and highlights all the time about my DIY projects and my staging projects. So if you give me a follow over there, you'll you'll get to see um, just real time what's going on. Perfect. Thank you so much. And of course, um, we're going to have the complete steps of your DIY and some of the things that you've done uh, right on k12.com. So go ahead and make sure you uh, head on over there shortly after the show, not just yet. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. And and we'll be talking to you soon, I hope. Great. Thanks so much, John. Nice to see you. And we will. We will continue a conversation every once in a while with uh, with her. Uh, uh, you know, and I, I think that there's some great things to be learned there. I myself am trying to learn how to build things uh, a little more at home. And this is a great... There's no shame in copying or watching somebody else teach you how. I actually get frustrated when I lose a screw or whatever. And there are a lot of great tutorials. So uh, we will have that for you in our, our new Hawaii at Home segment. I agree. And I love this segment that we're starting. Especially, I've been following a lot of do-it-yourself creators on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And Especially right now when everybody's trying to save money, this is the perfect thing to pick up on. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to have like that new Pier 1 import look, but yeah. of course if you're on a budget, definitely. And shout out to Leslie. Her house is beautiful. I mean, yeah. she's very talented. Well, she puts a lot of effort into the things that she makes and she takes the time when she's making them. So good stuff. And we'll continue she our does. conversation. Again, all that information yep. with complete steps on kh12.com. All right, we still